Hello guys, this is Dr. Fatima Qureshi again with you. I hope everyone is doing great. Uh, today I wanted to talk about something that I'm sure other practices, other clinics, and other physicians can relate to. Um, other staff members, such as nurses, scribes, and technicians uh, must have experienced this at some point in their lives, but it's worth mentioning and worth talking about. So uh, it started with a patient who came to us and had seen all, a lot of our doctors in our practice. Um, every time she would come, she had some inflammation on the cornea in the form of SPK, which is superficial punctate keratitis, or she would have large corneal abrasions. When I'm talking about large, it's almost like it's mechanically induced. For instance, she rubs her eyes, she scratches her eyes out of pain, out of frustration, out of whatever she is thinking. So um, multiple times we treated her and this was ongoing. So it would start getting better and then it would start getting worse. So we were like, why is she, why, what's happening? Of course we know that she's rubbing her eyes, but there was something deeper to that, right? So she started calling us, she was frustrated. We started getting frustrated, but we still had to treat her. Um, finally, we, when we had maxed out all our treatment options in the form of antibiotic drops, steroid drops, ointments, she would say, oh, I have a reaction to something that you guys gave us. Oh, I have a side effect to the ointment. So uh, the final incident that happened was when I was on call and she started calling me like really early in the morning at five o'clock, then 5.30 and repeatedly started calling me. I knew there was something else going on. And then um, finally, when she came to see me the last time, as I was leaving the room, um, she was there, I think for a little bit, maybe we wanted to go and talk to another patient. So there was no one present in the room. She was there for maybe like three or four minutes and the scribe wasn't there, the nurse wasn't there. By the time she left the room, my assistant came to me and said, oh, you know what doc, uh, some drops are missing, in particular preparacaine. And we have been noticing every time she leaves the room, our drops are missing. So then we figured out, wow, the patient has been taking away our preparacaine drops. So preparacaine is um, it's a topical anesthetic and we use that only in the clinics. We don't even prescribe that. So that's not something that you're going to uh, see at the pharmacy because that's something only used sparingly in the clinics and the doctor's offices or in the hospitals. But this patient, obviously she was in so much pain that she decided to just sneak sneak in and just you know grab her drops and put them in her purse which is um, absolutely very dangerous because one of the biggest side effects of preparacaine is corneal melt which means her cornea can melt and she can damage her cornea for the rest of her life and even go blind so of course we have to confront uh, in this situation we have to confront the patient because we care about them right we don't want them to have any kind of uh, side effects or any kind of dangerous outcomes so Important thing is in those kind of situations, uh, make sure that these drops are not in the within the reach of the patients, not in the vicinity of the patient. Put an alert in the uh, in the EMR electronic medical records, so that everybody knows. Like especially the clinical staff realizes when this patient comes, what to do, what um, you know precautions to take, and obviously uh, let her know. Like you know, be upfront with her, like I said, and tell her like you don't do this because this is this is wrong, <laughs> ethically, morally, and also medically because you're ruining your eyes now the reason why a lot of patients or some patients try to do that is because when they see the difference in their cornea in their pain level when they come in and we put the topical anesthetic in the form of preparacaine and it starts making the pain go away you know it, it lessens um, the the pain so they feel like oh what if I just grab this because the doctor is not giving it to me because of course we cannot prescribe it we can only prescribe other antibiotics and steroids but not a not a topical anesthetic so they they feel like oh maybe I can just grab that and every time I have pain when I'm at home I can just use it but they don't realize because even in the clinics we don't use uh, preparacaine too much because even if they come in for corneal abrasion or let's say a cor uh, foreign body removal we or if you have to look at the staining pattern on the cornea for dry eyes or for superficial punctate keratitis we just use a few drops you don't just start putting in like um, nine ten uh, drops of preparacaine so use it sparingly and um, i thought it was a good learning experience for everyone okay we'll talk to you guys later bye bye